Hi, Hiram here. Last time I did my test with this canteen cup stove, you know, this is the one that fits on the canteen so that you can store it in your pouch. Well, I thought that it was supposed to work like this, where you put that down, you put the canteen in the same direction, and it fits down in. I've been told by several knowledgeable people that that's incorrect, that you're supposed to turn it around 180 degrees so that then when you put the canteen cup on, there's open spots for the heat and the fumes and stuff to come out. So I thought I'd try this test again. I've got two cups of water here, setting at 60 degrees. Put that in. Now I've already run this test with one cup of water starting at 60 degrees and it came to a boil in 4 minutes and 30 some seconds. So now I want to try it with two cups. There was also a big piece of the yes bit left over. Okay, I've taken the yes bit, I just have it in a dish, holding it up the way Mr. Bill told us to do it. I've scraped the top so that there's loose crumbs on there to aid in starting it, starting the espit. Okay, it's kind of hard to see, but yeah, you can see it there. I'll put the stove on, put the two cups of water on there. Now it's up to 60, 61 degrees. And let's see where this goes. Okay, there we got 200 degrees and it looks like it's just about ready to go out. going down so let's say seven minutes 45 45 to run out and it got up to 201 degrees now that is better than what I had before when I ran them last time with SPIT in nine minutes it only got up to 164 degrees So all we have to do is add a little something to the burner. And I have been asked, let me try something here. Are there fumes if you blow it out? I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there is a little bit of fumes there. I've also been asked what's on the bottom of the pot, any residue? This was clean before I ran this test, and yes, there is residue. Aspid isn't really clean burning. I wouldn't use this inside normally if I were you. It does give off fumes, much more than, say, alcohol does. But if you ventilate the room and everything, it can go pretty good. <clears throat> but again, I wouldn't use it indoors. So I think what I'm going to do is try this test again, adding a little alcohol to this, and see if I can get two cups of boil to burn, or two cups of, see, there's fumes here. See if I can get two cups of water to boil. I'll be right back. Here we have 210, 211. To 12 at 747. Boil at 747 and let's see how long this burns. This time 
I had two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, one aspic cube with five milliliters of SLX alcohol. Put that on there, lit it up, and it boiled two cups of water in four or seven minutes, 47 seconds. Last time with just the yes, but it ran out at four, boy, fumes in here. Like I said, don't do this indoors. With just the yes, but cube, it lasted seven minutes and 45 seconds and only got up to 201. This has gotten up to 214, 213. That's because of the tight lid on here. It gives it pressure to let it build up. And it's just about ready to run out, so I might as well say it's run out. Time to run out is let's just say nine minutes. Okay. I don't know if that helps. This was something I saw on TZ Stoves on one of his videos where he added alcohol to aspit to give it a little more oomph. See, just a crumb there burning. Maybe this should have been done. Maybe I should have used a cube and a half since people won't want to carry alcohol and aspit. I always carry both. I have aspit in my fire kits. Uh, and alcohol in my in with my pots and burning kits so whatever okay so I guess it does make a difference too with this canteen cup holder you don't let the canteen slide down in there you turn it 180 degrees around so that the fire and everything comes up through the sides it did make a world of difference so I thank you for watching uh, Max and I want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. Go easy on the turkey. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye now. Happy trails to you until we meet again. Happy trails to you. Keep smiling. Cares about the clouds and we're together. Just sing a song and bring the sunny weather. Happy trails to you until we meet.